Hello everyone, welcome to today's session of Kids Yoga and today with the kids we parents can also do some practice. Along with me is the little yogi Raj. Hello. So let us start our sessions today and let's have some fun. Okay, so let's bring our hands in front and we widen the legs a little more. Okay, we start with a cow and a cat. Do you know what is the sound of a cow? Moo. Moo, yeah. And what about a cat? Yeah. Okay, so when we do a cow, you make a sound of a moo. And when we do a cat, you meow. Okay, ready? Okay, push your chest down, look up and moo. And then round the back in, meow. Again, push down the chest, look up. Move and round back in again. Round the back more like you want to look into your navel. Nice. And then one more time. Go down, look all the way up. And go back in. Where is the sound of the cat? Yeah, yeah that's right. Watch me, my hand going in front, and I just put my hand like this. Now look front and straighten the head of the unicorn. Now from there, you want to lift your left leg up. And it's okay if you fall. Just stay there for five, four, three, two, and come back down. That's nice, good try. Let's do the other side, ready? Unicorn, left hand. Okay, and Shoot the unicorn forward and then you lift the other leg, the right leg up and try to stay. If you wiggle a little bit or fall down, that's okay. Enjoy and have fun. Good, good try. Five, four, three, two and come back down. Very nice. Okay, now we do the shape of a dog, All right? So when the dog wakes up and it stretches itself, that's the way we do. So that's called the downward facing dog. So your toes tucks in, lift your hips and walk your legs a bit back. Nice. Now wiggle the feet a couple of times. So like you're walking the dog here. The dog has got a long tail, right? So now let's lift the tail of the dog. So raise your right leg up and then bend the right knee. That's right. Hold it. Five, four, three, two and put it down it has got one tail only but we'll be lifting the second leg up as well okay so now lift the left and open up okay five four three two and one come back down bring your knees down give me five so now we will be resembling like a tree and what does this tree do? It stays very steady, right? It doesn't move, it's very still all the time, unless there is a lot of breeze. So we try to be steady like a tree. So stand on your left leg and bring your right leg up. Yes, yes. And give me your hand so I can hold you. Now look front at one point. Now try to stretch the other hand. Good. Try to concentrate and see if you can be steady and I'll leave you and you try to balance there good five four okay i got you once again five four okay three two one okay let's change the side this one is difficult usually balancing postures are difficult for kids so spotting is always good okay let's do the other side now okay lift your other leg up and i hold your hand again and then stretch the hand look at one point in front yeah See if you can this time balance for five, four, three. <laughs> One more time, try it. Five, four, three, two, and one. We did it. <laughs> so we do the aeroplane pose now. It looks like aeroplane, okay? So you stretch the hands to the side. Step one leg front. And then you begin to lean and lift your other leg. That's right. 
Don't crash the aeroplane. Okay, five, four, very good. Three, two, you almost got it. Okay, nice. Try the other side. Ready? Wings. And then lift the other leg up. Look at one spot. It can help you to focus. Try again. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do this one more time. This time I hold your hand and you want to bring the chest more down and lift your leg more up. Okay? okay. All right. Okay. Stretch out the hand. Give me your hand. Step your right leg front and lift your left leg up. Look front. Okay. Look front. Try not to touch the floor. Try one more time. Five, four. Look front. Three, two, and one. Okay. <laughs> That's a tough one for kids. Let's try the other side. You almost got it. Okay, give me your hand again. Stretch the hands to the side and go. Very good. Five, four, look front. Three, two, and one. And this side was good. Very nice. Give me five again. So now let's work a little on the legs. Give me your hands back in. So we'll be doing some squats together. So step back a little bit more on your mat. All right, and we bend the knees together, go down, and we come back up. One, let's do 10. Go down and up, two. Down, up, three. Down, up, four. Down, five. Down, six. Good. Down, seven. Down, eight. Almost finished. Down. Nine, down, 10, stay here this time. So we come up slowly on a count of five. Little bit up, five, little bit up, four, little bit more up, three, straighten your hands, look front, look at me, little bit more up, two, and all the way up. Okay, well done. So now we do some more fun part, which is called a rabbit jump. So you sit down at the back of the mat. Put your hands down here. So these are the feet of the rabbit, these are the hands. So look front and look at me first. We jump. Okay, that's a very big jump, all right. Let's do it one more time. Look front and jump. Wow, you almost crossed the mat. Okay, turn around. Let's do it again. Look front and jump. One more time, jump. Okay, turn around. One more round, jump, jump. Okay, this time we try to jump more light. Okay. Hmm? Okay, turn around. Keep the feet wide, jump, light. Very good, jump. Whoa, that was bigger jump than me. Almost crossed the mat, nice. So when you are doing a handstand against the wall, it is always safe to make sure that you have a mat, it's not slippery. And still again, if this is your very first time attempting it, maybe you can follow me with the easier option. So you wanna have your hands around three to four feet away from the wall, which is actually easier. The closer we go back, the harder it is, okay? So put your hands down, walk your legs slowly up to the wall, and uh, kids loves to go upside down. Sometimes they are scared and which is okay. Alternately, you can just come up on your hands and do a straight line body, which is called a plank. You hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay? This time we try holding for 10 counts. Okay, let's go. So set your hands down, push and come up. Okay, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down. Yeah, very good. Very nice. Sit down. Okay, so to close our practice, let us do a very simple breathing. This is good for improving concentration in the kids. Uh, you know how the sound of a B is? The mm, right? Yeah? So we make a sound of B, right? So follow me. 
Use the first finger and close your ears. Look front, yeah. You can keep your eyes open or closed. Now take a deep breath in. Mm. Okay, one more time. Breathe in and mm. keep going. Very good, one last time. Can we do it longer now? Breathe in and go. Very nice. Okay, so this practice can be done eight to 10 times on a regular basis for the kids. All right, so now since we have finished the class and you did a very good job, let's try to close it with one deep breath, deep inhale, and exhale. And at the end, what we say to close the class is Namaste. So, Namaste, which means my greetings and salutations with you. Hope you enjoy the class. Thank you.